Right, you're right, guys and girls. Welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel of Days Gone. I believe this is episode eight. Say hello, mum. Hi. And uh, my mum's here as well. So uh, it is what's that? Twenty ninth today, I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah. So twenty ninth of April, twenty nineteen. And it's 2.25 or 14.25 because I go by the 24 hour clock and all that now. So I've got all that set up on my phone. So uh, 2.25, Monday 29th of April 2019. And uh, yeah, I've just been playing Days Gone. Fantastic game. The graphics are really good. I um, haven't done the update yet. Apparently there's supposed to be a patch out already fixing some of the problems. I think it's supposed to like the crashing and all that kind of stuff. Because apparently a friend of mine was playing the other day and he said his um, game just crashed entirely. And I had a few where it was just jiggering a little bit. I'm hoping they fixed the jiggering on it. For the fr It might be the frame rate. Um, absolutely amazing game though. Um, the graphics are good. The mecha game mechanics are really good. Look at that. Where I just take down that zombie like he's nothing. I just sneak up behind him and stab him in the back of the head and take him out. I'm not taking him out for dinner though. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, really good game so far. Story is absolutely spot on. It's amazing storyline. I like it. Where basically he plays this uh, guy, Deacon, who's basically got a wife. Uh, she gets sent on to a helicopter to one of these sort of, uh, what's it called, um, camps. Uh, these like sort of places where they have them to save people and stuff. Uh, like uh, I wouldn't say uh, more like a concentration camp than anything, but um, you get to basically go to this camp, uh, and then you end up finding out your wife's not basically there. She's been sent to another place. So uh, because he thought she was dead or something, basically. I actually, I'm placed in Danny's traps. I'm wondering if they actually work these traps as well. So. I was placing these down. I don't know if they open. Yeah, they open up just like normal. So you just place them on the floor. And they should just basically open up any way you put them, really, actually. This, as I think as long as it doesn't go like sort of like flashing green. I think if it starts flashing green, you can't place them there. Or you place them somewhere. Anyway, 730, I think, 700 something days. 700, oh, 737 days at the time of this video and it goes back as well there's like little sequences where you've got cut scenes and they take you back to each of the characters past of why they got there in the first place and all that kind of stuff um so it kind of gives you snippets in between of this post-apocalyptic style world which you're in it's more like walking dead because you end up meeting these like odd strange characters in the game but you also you think he's a bit odd and strange oh yeah you can cut the barbed wire ears like little booby traps and all that uh i think they're probably explosives anyway I ends up um collecting some of these like sort of bombs you can collect you can collect material to make bombs i end up sneaking behind it he's trying to eat some of these guys up i think so i was just basic oh actually it was a woman zombie there so i ends up taking her out uh you can collect things from the dead corpses or and you actually see them feeding as well. Some of these zombies, these freakers. They're not actually zombies. Well, in a way they are. Because um, they move exactly like them. But they also run at you as well. Remember that the other day, man, with all those zombies. Uh, all those pack of them, weren't they? Zombies. They were, what were they? About 70, 80, 90 of them. Oh. And they were <laughs> running after me. And I was like, I was running out of stamina. Basically, I couldn't run any fast. And then they gobbled me up. <laughs> Well. Yeah, they got like little baby zombies in this as well, oh, like little, just... little children ones. And they try to basically jump on top of you to try and rip you out and try and attack you. But they're very crafty as well because they're like on top of the roof. And like you don't see them as well. Like there's, there's one part of the game where basically I didn't see this one zombie and he tried to jump on me. Huh. And I'm thinking, you crafty get. You crafty get how sneaky is that? Yeah, a little toddler. A little toddler one, I know. It's like, oh, that's sweet, but you have to kill him anyway because he's otherwise he's trying to kill you. So, I mean, it's obviously it's a zombie pocket. Actually, it reminded me of that one uh, from Walking Dead season one where you got that little girl zombie in it, and then she comes out that bomb because that bloke uh, he's basically been keeping 
uh, his daughter locked up in a barn and stuff and then she gets out and then basically I think it was old Rick the cowboy one the sheriff he has to take her out and all that I think that was the one from season one absolutely amazing show by the way guys and girls also this is a slash between sort of um I wouldn't say like dead more like it's probably dead rising with the amount of zombies they've got in it um like when you get to a certain part so there's not really much around at the moment but there is zombies there's creatures uh there's like dogs like they jump on you but the zombie dogs you got the standard wolves um like werewolves and then you got standard sort of dog um well you got standard werewolves type sort of dogs and then you've got the zombie versions of them and then there's a lot, there's a lot to this game and then you've got these like guys that go around in coats they're trying to kill you basically and uh, they're worshipping these other sort of gangs that are basically trying to take everything off you they're like scavengers basically and if they see you like on the road they will kill you they will come and they'll come after you as well they'll get on their motorbikes and they'll literally kill you I mean, this is absolutely... I mean, you've got to be careful, because in this open world, this is an open world game, this is absolutely amazing game for the price. I mean, I think it's worth 50 quid alone, isn't it? What do you think? 50 yeah. pound? I think it's worth 50 pound for yeah, the company. Um, I mean, Ben Studio, I, I heard that there was, uh, this game's been, like, in production since two, about 2015, 16, something like that. Um, apparently they said it was about seven, six, seven years or something. It's been, um, in development for. So, I mean, so far what they've done for a game for about seven years, they've created something special, haven't they, in this game? What do you think? Something special? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Now, anyway, I end up going to this cemetery because I've got to find this space. Okay, I've got a map and I've got to get to a cemetery. Now, this cemetery has got something special. Uh, apparently it's supposed to be trying to find the whereabouts of this bloke's um, treasure or whatever he's supposed to be getting. I'm supposed to be working for this biker bloke, but I've also got to get back to my friend as well who's basically, his arm's burnt up and he's in recovery at the moment. He's basically got like third degree burns on his arms because of these uh, bandits basically trying to burn you alive or trying to burn your friend alive. And they don't hold back some of these... Um, like bandits um they also these bandits are worshipped by these worshippers uh the ones actually the cults and all that but they won't actually attack these other ones because them worshipping them like gods or something now these bandits they will come after you they will actually try and mess you up really badly um so i would just upgrade your motorbike so you can have more fuel in it Apparently you can make the fuel tank, I think, bigger. So you can actually have more fuel going in it. But you've got to find the fuel as well. And you can pay for the fuel at the sort of like the zones where your uh, civilians are. Or civilization areas, the people are. So basically where your um, like home bit is. You've got two sections of the home, I think, or three. At the moment I've only found two like groups of people. Uh, which I'm working for. I've got the, this guy I owe money to on here. So basically you've got to work for him. And he tells you to do these missions for you. Because basically you killed his best friend or one of his um, men. So he wants revenge. But he wants um, basically to not get revenge on him. He wants you to work for him basically. To owe him what you owe him back from killing this bloke. Um, so you can scavenge for items like uh, wires, plugs and all that kind of stuff to make um, stuff for your motorbike so you can repair your motorbike. Um, you can also repair your weapons. You can also repair like um, your grenades. You can actually, if you've got a baseball bat or anything and broken or all that, you can actually repair them now. But you have to get the ability to unlock them. There's a lot to it, to this game entirely. Um in itself so yeah i've just been playing this game thoroughly really good i'm probably about i'd say four five six hours into this game so far i mean i've just been having a lot of fun on it 
not just doing the main missions or side missions and all that kind of stuff. I've just been driving around. I do some of the stuff and like kill some of the zombies. And it's quite fun when you get the uh, Molotovs, these cocktail bombs, which actually are on fire. Um, you just basically throw them and then they will burn them all alive or the zombies alive. Um, actually, in this one as well, I find out that there's this group or something as well. They've got these uh, blokes in suits. They're more like sort of in hazmat suits. And they're also like sort of soldiers like working FBI because they're trying to track me down or something and trying to kill me. But I think they're the ones that's kidnapped is basically kidnapped his wife. or I don't know if she's alive or dead at the moment because I'm still getting through it. But um, basically she was set on a helicopter and one of these regime camps uh, where they were supposed to be getting sent to, um, he went down to it and he couldn't find her there. So obviously, um, and also the bloke on the helicopter uh, with the hazmat uh, suit, the one at the start of the game, who sends his wife on there. Because he only did that because his, uh, he threatened the bloke to shoot him because he only had enough room for two people on that, that helicopter. And he said, I can't only take two people. And he wasn't going to leave his best friend down there by himself. And even though his best friend said, hey, man, he said, go, go without me. He says, I'm, I'll be all right. But he didn't. He didn't leave his best friend in there. Uh, his name's Boozer, I think his name is. Um, so he didn't leave him. He told his wife, here, meet her at this camp at some point. He goes to the camp, finds out that she's not actually there. So she's been basically transferred to another place. So whether she's alive or not is another thing. So we're going to have to go right through this game, guys and girls, to find out. So this is at like episode 8 at the moment. It's absolutely amazing um, game so far. I've done like, at the moment, I've done about 30 to 40 gigs worth of videos, which I'll be uploading various throughout the days and stuff. I could probably do one or two, uh, three videos of these a day, maybe, to try and get out of there. Um, I've had to cut this video down. This is an hour long video, this one. Because um, I'm not going to be able to do an hour long like talk on this video. Uh, probably could, At the most, I could probably do about half an hour. I'm almost through 12 minutes of the 20 minute segment video already. Um, but uh, yeah, actually, if you guys and girls like the intro as well at the start. i am actually been brought up on PlayStation. Um, years ago, but I'm not a fanboy though of the system. Um, obviously, I like the the actual exclusive games, and this Days Gone being an exclusive game is fantastic. Now, there's another new game coming out eventually. I don't know if it's supposed to be out this year, but apparently it's supposed to be done by the game um, the guy who did. Um, I think it was Metal Gear Solid or Silent Hill. Um, just trying to think out his name now. Um, um, uh, Silent Hill. Mm, just trying to find out the uh, the guy did the the games and stuff. Um, the game of um because they made a film on it but they've got the game version which was out on playstation one ah survival game i'd love i would love to do uh, get them to do a remaster of the original but it would never happen um uh oh it's uh, the the developers were konami when they did it but i'm um, trying to find out the guy who actually made it um, Toyama, oh, that's the designer, Kichiro uh, Toyama, and then you've got the uh, composer, Akira Yamaoka, Yamaoka, but I'm trying to find out the, I think it was Silent Hill actually, or is it the guy who did Metal Gear Solid, because I thought he did both of them actually, actually, it might be Metal Gear Solid, uh, so look. Actually, it'd be good to actually have a Metal Gear uh, film to come out. Um, where is it? Oh, no. Um, Hideo Kojima. 
he's supposed to be doing that new game that's supposed to be coming out this year. Um, Death Stranding. Yeah, that's the game I'm waiting for, and I think that's going to be exclusive um, to the PlayStation 4. Maybe they could make it actually exclusive to the PS5. But um, apparently it says whether it's coming to PC or not. I hope it don't. I hope it's only exclusive to the PlayStation. Uh, but that guy from um, <coughs> from Walking Dead's in it. <coughs> yeah, you know, what's that guy's name? The one from The Walking Dead. You know, what's his name? Um, you know that one you, you like? The one from Walking Dead. You know that that one's got the scruffy hair and all that. Ah, oh, I don't know. And he, he he always he always comes in Denny with his little bow. He's got his like little bow and. Yeah, yeah, I um. Ah, oh, I've got his name now. Um. Was it Dean? Was it Dean? I don't know. I can't remember. No, uh, no, I think it is. Um. Oh, let's have a look. Um. Now, Rick's the cowboy one, the sheriff. Uh, actually, what's a walking dead? Sorry about this, guys and girls. I, I know you probably, guys and girls, are probably shouting it out. Uh, we've got Michonne. Uh, she's uh, that one with the samurai sword. Um, Get a bit forgetful now, aren't they? Oh, he plays Daryl, isn't it? That's ah, the one. that's the word. Yeah, I know that. yeah Norm, well, Norman Reedus. He's actually starring in a video game. do you game. know why I should remember that name? Mm. Because you know your brother, I was going to call him that. Yeah. 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 But you changed your mind. I know. <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah, we're at about 17 minutes into the game. But yeah, um, Norman Reedus, he's actually uh, playing in Death Stranding. And that's going to be actually, if it, graphically, if it comes out on PlayStation 4... I'm hoping it will come out on PlayStation 5 because I know the PS4 games will be sort of um, probably maybe enhanced for 4K or 8K. But can you imagine that again? I was w watching the preview on that, the trailer on it, and that Death Stranding, oh my god, looks like it's going to be fantastic. I saw the first trailer where he's hold um, like Norman Reedus is actually holding this baby or something, and he's like. You could see him putting it close to his chest and all that. And do you know what? It was one of those sort of epic moments from E3. This, I think this was a while back now, so I can't remember if it was last year or year before. But I cannot wait for that game to come out, guys and girls. It's just going to be an epic game. Um, Death Stranding. Um, actually, I wonder if there's any uh, sort of talks on it. Let's have a look. Death. Oh. Death Stranding. There we go. So if it's, when it's coming out, release dates, sort of thing. Mm. Well, it says it's for PS4. Um, is a playground of possibilities. <coughs> uh, will make you cry. Apparently, I like those sort of emotional sort of games, uh, where it's like sort of quite emotional. And you can actually get attached to the character. And it makes you feel like you're that character when you're playing it. I like those sort of story-driven games. Uh, release date. Let's have a look. When's this coming out? Um, a release date for Death Stranding remains unconfirmed. Hideo Kojima said that it will be released before Tokyo 2020 Olympics. So um, perhaps a 2019 release. Well, actually, it says Tokyo 2020 Olympics. So maybe, what that will mean, maybe it'll be in time for the PlayStation 5. What do you think, Mum? Do you think it'll yeah. come out on the PS5, do you think? Because if they're on about the PS5 coming out in 2020 and they bring this game, this might only be exclusive to PlayStation 5, uh, in a sense. But um, who knows, guys and girls, who knows? Anyway, let us know. Do you think this is going to be exclusive to PS5? Or do you think this is coming to PS4 and then we've just got to wait? Do you think it's going to come out in 2019 of this year? Maybe like Christmas time or something, guys and girls? I can't wait anyway. Can you wait as well, guys and girls? Let us know in the comments as well. Are you looking forward to Death Stranding? But anyway, uh, this is part 8.
of Days Gone. Probably an awesome game to me it is anyway. I think it's an awesome game. I'm going to rate it probably, I was going to say 10 out of 10. But I'd say 8 to 9 out of 10. I think that should be sufficient enough. Anyway, cheers for watching guys and girls and stay safe.